Hi, this is Twan van der Broek doing a demo with SAP NetWeaver Business Process Management, which is available in SAP's composition environment 7.1. I also want to include a business rule with a new business rules management opportunity within the composition environment. Therefore, I have this simple process, expense demo, with no backend integration, but just to show you how to model this process and how to include a business rule in this process. Let me first explain the process I have prepared for you. I have two roles in the process, a requester and a manager. The, ma the requester starts with entering an expense statement with a specific amount. And what I want to do is go decide whether I go to auto approval or go to via manager approval on base of the expense amount that has been entered in the first step. So if it's below 25 euros, it goes via auto approval and it shows the result to the requester. If it's above 25 euros, I want to go via the manager with a specific task for the manager to approve the expense statement. In this step, the manager can reject or approve the expense statement from the requester. And of course, after that, it will also show the result to the original requester. Let's get started with the process. After the first step, when the requester enters the expense, we need a new step to validate the expense amount and to set a status um, to decide whether it's going via auto approval or going via manager approval. I can do that via a mapping step, which I will add to the process. Mapping, let's call it validate expense. And we we'll go to the gateway format pool. There we have the process that we want to use. Next step is to assign the dependency, to assign the WebDimpro project to this business process project. And I can do that on the development infrastructure perspective. Under local development, under my components, the WebDimpro project is located and it contains three WebDimpro applications to support me in my process. This is the WebDimpro project and this is the process project that we're currently trying to create. At the dependency step, I can add a dependency and under my components again is the WebDimpro project. Next, select all and this one is already selected. Finish. And now the dependency in this process project has been entered. We go back to the process composer perspective and we can create tasks for the steps in the process. The first task is enter expense. And what we can do now is assign the user interface that's coming from the WebDimpro project. The expense as the first step. Finish. Only as then you can find how to create WebDimpro project and use it in the process project. I will not go into details right now. I also want to specify which user is going to be assigned to this task which is the requester now it's going to the to the portal and i can select the requester to this specific task i'm going to create a new task now we have three tasks over here and we have the steps from the process in on my working space and by drag and drop i can Combine those two, the tasks to the steps. Show result over here. A validate expense well, over here. What I also need to do is to specify the context to the process. As I assign the dependency to the WebDimpro application to the process project, I have the context from the WebDimpro applications available in my process. For example, for the context from the first 
a Dimper application, the enter expense, I can select it, drag it, and drop it over here in the process. Now I have the context specified for my whole process expense demo with BRM. And of course I need to specify what's going to happen with the context between all those steps. Therefore I select the first step and in the first step I have output mapping to the context. Output mapping is coming from the UI. With a right mouse click I can do an automatic mapping between the fields. Here you have it. Here the fields are automatically mapped to the context. Same over here. But I also need to have an input mapping from the context to the UI. Right mouse click, map automatically. And I have output mapping, UI to the context. And I have input mapping in the last step from the context to the UI. There we go. Check. This is correct. And I also need the mapping step to do a mapping context to the context. Next step is to define the business rule and close the data types. And under rules and functions, we're going to create a new rule set. A set of rules that I can use within my process. Demo rules expense. At the return time, I have to select the context. I again use the same context as I was using in my process. I'm going to add a parameter. It also has to be the type of the context. Enter expense. Finish. The rule set editor is available. And as a result, I need to specify this argument parameter. Now I can create a rule. New rule, check expense amount, and now we're in the rule editor. This is the default if statement, and if I click on the yellow box, I can select from the context the field to be validated, which is the expense amount. It's less than equals. 25 and what I want to do is set a variable to true so execute a method the approved field to the value true that is all you're finished with the rule and we're going to use this rule in the mapping step validate expense to do so I select a line from the context to the context and open the expression editor and select the rule I have just created over here, demo rules expense and make sure that the context is between brackets ok now the business rule is specified in the mapping step validate expense of course I need to specify the gateway over here the exclusive choice, when to go via auto and when to go via manager approval. As I said before, the auto approval is going when the context field approved is true. And for manager approval, this same field has to be false. And of course, this is the default gate from the exclusive choice. Now you can see that all errors are gone and we can build and deploy the process and go to the portal. But first, build and deploy. Build. And when you're done with deploying the application, we can go to the NetWeaver administrator to start the process. Here we are in the NetWeaver administrator. We go to configuration management. Processes and Tasks, Process Repository. We get a list of all deployed processes. Our one is called 
expense demo SDL. Let's enlarge the screen a bit. Select the process definition, start procedure. And of course, in real life, you want to be in, <laughs> you want to, to start the process somewhere integrated in, in the portal. But we are just testing, so we start procedure. And over here it says the process has started successfully. We go to the first player in this process, which is the requester, and the task enter expense. First, the difficult scenario, 1,000 euros, dinner, and gifts, submit, and I want to close this window. This task has been completed. I can refresh the work list, and I have no task available yet. I go to the manager over here and you will see that the manager has a new task validate expense he opens this task and here he sees what has been entered the thousand euro for dinner and gifts and if he wants to have a look at the process where he is located he opens the process overview and sees okay I'm approving the expense but this is ridiculous, so I reject as a manager. Close this window. And the task will be gone from the manager work list. Go back to the requester. Refresh. Show result. And I can see that my expense has been rejected, which is sad news, of course. But I will give it a new try by starting up the process again. Enter expense again. And now you can see it's a silly demo because I of course can do a few times with an amount under the 25 euros. But anyway, cheap dinner, submit, close. As the amount is under the 25 euros, I want to have immediately effect, immediately approval, and I show the result, and now it has been approved. Thank you very much for paying attention, see you next time.